Sorry, I look so unbelievably crazy, but I literally just woke up 35 minutes ago and it is like 12.35, so. But I thought we could do a fun little studio vlog today because I haven't filmed on here in a while. I haven't posted on here in a while and someone asked for a studio vlog. I can't remember who it was, but thank you. I need to start working on some Halloween stickers for my next month's art booth and to start putting on my Etsy shop for you guys. So I thought I'd come show you guys my thought process and how exactly I am planning on doing these. But first, I gotta get some food. Back, finished my food, finished my makeup, took my hair down, and we're ready to rock and roll. I can show you guys kind of the setup that we're working with right now. This is my art desk. And this is a pretty big desk, but I don't really leave myself a lot of room. It actually stands up too, but I can't do it because all my stuff is on there. And I also want to show you guys, my boyfriend and I just had our three year anniversary. And he got me these pretty flowers. Aww. I feel like I always end up showing my flowers in my videos and they're all from him. So what I'm kind of looking to do today is I already have, I think, three or four sketches in my sketchbook of Halloween stickers that I planned and wanted to make. And what I need to do is I need to take pictures and put them onto my iPad so that I can finish them digitally. I've got a vampire cat, a mummy pig, a little waving bat, and this little dude who's holding a pumpkin and freaking out about it. I'm gonna get to taking these pictures and I'm gonna talk you through what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So this is me starting on the first sticker. I use Procreate to do all of my art digitally. So all of my stickers are through there. And I started on my vampire cat. I always start with my outline and then I do my base colors. And I kind of wish that I would have just kept the cat alone without a background. You can see I really went back and forth with it for a long time and I kept switching up the colors. And I do like the sticker that I have now, but I wish I would have kind of kept it simple. For this sticker, I really went for the opposite color palette. I just worked a lot with warm colors for the vampire cat, so I was really excited to work on this bat and work with a lot of warm colors since I wanted it to be a brown bat because a lot of times you see the black bats around Halloween time and I really like the idea of doing a little brown bat. This seemed to be everyone's favorite sticker when I was showing it to them, so hopefully it does pretty well. It's finished. I just finished the second sticker. He's pretty cute, I like him. Might be one of my favorites so far. I'm moving through these pretty fast, so I should be able to get all of these done by the end of the day. Here's where I started my mummy pig, and I feel like I, for my entire brand being called Piggy Pictures, I only have like two pig stickers, and none of them are on my shop. So I decided to do this little pig to throw into my Halloween drop so we could get some pig recognition over at Piggy Pictures Art. And I really like this one, and I really like the colors on this one. Finish the third sticker of the little mummy pig, and I think she's pretty cute. I really like the color scheme that I used in this one. I think it actually blended really well together and makes it all look very put together. Now I'm going to start on the final sticker design, sticker number four of the pumpkin. With this sticker, I knew that if I was gonna do some Halloween stickers, I had to throw in some pumpkins. And this kind of reminded me a lot of Over the Garden Wall when they're over in the little, the pumpkin town and everyone's got faces and stuff. And I really liked that vibe and that's kind of what I was going for with this one. I wanted to be a really scared pumpkin and just a silly little guy. Finish the fourth. I finished the fourth sticker of the little pumpkin head guy. I did come up with an idea like halfway through making the pumpkin. My best seller on my shop right now is actually my butterfly bear sticker. And I've had people ask me for different variations. And this is him. And I've had people ask me for different variations, like different kinds of bears or different colors and things. 
So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little su surprise Halloween sticker and I'm going to make a bat bear and I'm gonna give him bat wings instead of butterfly wings. And I think that'd be cute and I think a lot of people would really like that because everyone loves the little butterfly bear. I only have the time lapse recording for this guy because I decided to do him the next day because it was so late when I finished all the other stickers, but I just kind of traced around my butterfly bear making sure I got the original design right so that I could go over top of that and start working with the bat wings. I decided to go with cooler colors for his wings and stuff and I think it turned out pretty well. I think he really brought in the Halloween vibes. And hopefully everyone likes him, and if you want to get a little matching guy for your butterfly bear, then you can come check out my little bat bear. He'd be excited to join you. Not to mention it's really hard to see, but his little antennas are actually jack-lanterns, and I wish it came through better in the stickers, but just know that they're there. This honestly, like, kind of concludes my studio vlog. It is now 9.34 p.m. This has been a full day for me of just doing stickers and coloring and getting them where I need them to be. If you want to see these stickers and you want to buy one when it drops, you can check out my Etsy, which is linked in my bio. This is it. It's at Piggy Pictures Art. I am on like literally every social media platform ever. I have Instagram. I have TikTok. I have Lemon8. I have Pinterest and then I post shorts on here. All of those platforms are at Piggy Pictures Art. My TikTok and my community posts on here are typically where I update my, my shop and what's on there. Right now I have all of these tote bags that are on my shop and I have all of these current stickers. Other than that, if you enjoy watching my content, you can click on one of the two videos over here to keep watching. And you can hit subscribe, hit the like, comment, and tell me about your opinion on the stickers. If you have any more fun ideas, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks for watching.